while it is good that we analyze the sexuality concerning balls, <laughs> basketballs, and that's very truthful analysis, very much to the point. Balls going into various holes, and that, you know, speaks very much to the issue. I have no problem with that critique. So this is not a, a critique. But there's a larger part of the game that must be paid attention to as well. And recognize that basketball, football, soccer, and other things are primal male games. And ultimately are games of war. And involve themselves about the defense of territory. The line that runs down the center of the basketball court is a borderline. It separates two antagonistic forces. And the major problem there is to defend your territory against incursions from the other side. And to what? Invade and take from the other what one must take in order to win and to survive. And it's interesting to see a whole psychology operating there. The psychology of teamwork, the psychology of organization, the psychology of morale, the psychology of hierarchy with captains and guards and other people operating there to defend territory and to defeat the enemy. And yet to see black men play that game and miss all the points. To see black men walk on that court and call themselves by one name, Bulls and Bullets and Knicks and Celtics, <laughs> to take one name and operate under that name, identify with that name, be proud of that name, organize around that name, and on top of that, to dress just the like in uniforms. Yes. To organize themselves and sit down and plot strategy and tactics. To study the nature of the enemy and seek to defend, defeat that enemy. Isn't it amazing that black men can go on these courts and on these football fields playing these primordial games of men and the games that reflect the realities of life and cannot play them in real life. <laughs> and can only play them under the courtship and the management of white men. <laughs> Create billions of dollars of wealth playing for pennies. Five million dollars a year is no money when you're creating two and three billion or more going into a ring knocking another man's brains out for twenty million dollars is no money when the match itself generates over two hundred million to three hundred million dollars and you got a bunch of jokers out there living vicariously through this battle and so you've got a bunch of men who will take one name, bulls and so forth, and wear one uniform. And when they come off the court, you say then, why don't we call ourselves African? I'm an individual. <laughs> you say, I, you know, all of a sudden we're individuals. We, we're not connected. We, we are in, interbred with all.